Hello guys and welcome to When in Halifax. This is our seventh video of our Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. If this is your first time to watch our Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program series, I strongly suggest click the link below because this link will allow me to share all the videos that I made for Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program series to send directly to your messenger. Click the link guys and I'll send all the video through your messenger. Again, today's video I'm going to show to you on how to find a designated employer list and then how to find job on Career Beacon, which is a search engine, search job search engine uh, website. So to start is we need to go to a Google search engine and then just type designated employer. So once you click the designated employer, click enter, and then once you are in the search engine result, uh, you click the first one, which is the title is the business name of designated employer. Once you are in the list, it's a PDF form, you will see a bunch of business names, business or company name. So this list is just a list of employer that under the designated employer. There's no guarantee that they're currently hiring or maybe they're hiring but it's already filled up so now how to contact them or how to find if they're currently hiring so this is the challenge because on the list it's only the name there's no contact number there's no email address that you can send your resume and you cannot see if they are currently hiring or what kind of what are the positions that are available so i'm going to show you on how to find job and how to use this list um, how to use this list to verify if the company that you're applying are under the designated employer. So the first one is the Career Bacon. So I want you guys to go to a Career Bacon website. It's a careerbacon.com. So on this section, you can see the, the website, Career Bacon website. There's a two search bar, which is the first one. The first search bar is the job title, keywords, or employer. And... Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia is the location. Again, guys, the Atlantic provinces, the Atlantic provinces are composed of Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, PEI, Newfoundland. So in finding a job, go to the name of province that you want to stay. For example, you want to go to Nova Scotia, then the location that you need to set is Nova Scotia. So once you are here, Type the job uh, employment or your current job, your position, your work experience. Type it. Like for example, for me, I'm a registered nurse. I'll just type it nurse. Click search. And all of these are for nurses and the company. So what I'm going to, uh, to do is to verify if the company are under designated employer. So I will not advise you guys to send all your resume through all this employer because probably they are not in the designated employer so if they are not in the designated employer they don't have the opportunity to hire an uh, an immigrant or employ employee outside canada so it's very important guys that you need to verify if the employer is under the designated AIPP employers. That's the number one rule. So I'll just randomly uh, click here the name of the company. So this is the name of the position. The position is Director of Facility of Resident Care. It should be Registered Nurse. And then Annapolis Royal Nursing Home. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, copy this because this is the company name. I'll go to the designated employer list, which is in the PDF form. I'll click Annapolis Royal Nursing Home. And if there's no find, uh, there's no search found, it means that the Annapolis Royal Nursing Home are not in the designated list. So let's go back again to the career bacon. Let's find an employer that is on the designated employer list. Let's go to Nova Scotia. Health Authority or NSHA. I think this is the provincial government, but I will look for 
a private company. So this one, I know Shanix because I work uh, from them also here in Halifax. So I know that Shinex has a lot of location here in Nova Scotia. They have different facility here in Halifax as well. So anyway, uh, let's say for example Shinex. So the first one that you need to do is to find this Shinex if they have they are in the designated list. So in the search on the search bar it says there's a found one. So here you go. Shinex Incorporated are found in our designated AIBP employers list in the Nova Scotia. It means that Shinex is in the designated empl employer. So it means that they are currently hiring or they are currently hiring because you see that they're posted in Career Beacon. Number one, they're currently hiring. Well, um, how can we prove that they're currently hiring? You can see that they're posted a job opening in career bacon so you can see that this job is posted on june 14 and then the um the position is still open so and then and then um the second one is shinex is in the designated list so so you have two important uh, important um information that you need to consider in applying number one they are currently hiring. How can you know that they are currently hiring and what position they are hiring? Go to a job search engine website, which is the Career Beacon. And the second thing that you need to make sure that this employer or company are in the designated employer list. So on the PDF form, we see that Shanex are on designated AIPP employer list here in Nova Scotia. So what I'm going to do now is to click apply. So same thing that what you do is to click apply, submit your cover letter, submit your resume. So what is my advice in creating a resume or CV um, when you applying for the position under AIPP? One of the tips that I heard from my friends from the from my friends from the Google from Canada CA from my research is that you need to specify to the employer that you want to uh, use the AIPP program and make sure that the employer understand that you are all ready uh, you, re you are ready with all the requirements needed for AIPP so that's why it's very important uh, that you clearly understand how AIPP works that you clearly understand what are the requirements so if you find um, an employer through this search engine, my next advice is to make sure that all your requirements are available. So what are the requirements? Proof of fund, English language, and of course your ECA. So you make sure that you need this document before looking for a job because you don't want to waste the opportunity once the employer call you, let's say for example, you just tried submitting doc, uh, resume randomly here in Shanex, uh, sorry, in Career Bacon, and you apply the technique that I shared to you, and then luckily you are called for interview, and then you are you pass the interview, and the employer say, okay, um, how's your document? Oh, uh, sorry, sir, I need to take an IELTS. Give me two months. Oh, uh, sir, I don't have my money. Uh, just give me three months or five months to to save five uh, five thousand for my family. So if you are not yet ready, I don't recommend to, to uh, look for um, employer yet. My best advice is to make sure when you are trying to find a job, my advice is to make sure that all the documents, all the requirements are ready because you don't know the opportunity. Uh, you don't know when your opportunity will come. So that's my very best advice. Make sure, make sure that the requirements needed are ready um, on your hand. Because as you can see on the, uh, on the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program series, 
I make sure that you understand how the AIPP works. I make sure that it's clear to you what are the requirements. I make sure what are the different programs that is under the AIPP. So if you are looking for a job now, you clearly understand. You can clearly state on your cover letter that, Sir, Mom, I am registered in the Philippines. I am three years experience and I want to apply for Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program under the Intermediate Skill Program. So I already have a proof of fund that is around 5,885 because we are four members of family. And I have already an English test that is CLB6, for example. And of course, my ECA is also presented, is also attached here. I am very, very, uh, what do you call it? You just put that you are very interested to apply. And then, yeah, that's the pattern. So that's the part. And what I want to you to write in your cover letters to emphasize or to show to your employer that you are ready. So when they call you, when they made an interview, you are not wasting their time and your time as well. And you're not uh, wasting the opportunity if they're given to you. So my best advice, guys, before we end this video, make sure that you are ready with all your requirements before looking for a job but then i'm not preventing or i'm not stopping you to find job before it's your strategy we are just here or i am just here to give advice if your strategy is to find job and then that's the time you take an ielts and proof of, that's the time you save your money it's all up to you so anyway guys my advice is uh my sorry my my uh, that's my advice guys. So I hope I'm able to help you and I hope answer some questions. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to comment it below on our uh, YouTube uh, video. Or you can send us a private message on our When in Halifax page. Uh, you can message us if you have questions, directly message us. And then hope guys that see you again in our next video. Next video. Thank you very much guys. Bye-bye.